You want to do your best to communicate who you are, right? This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. You should go into every appointment, you know, the same exact way, right? Whether you think that they're going to interview other agents or not. And at the end of the day, you have to just be confident in yourself that you that you did the best you could do to communicate, right? Mm -hmm. And then just let them decide. If they choose another agent, that's that's okay. See that that this mm -hmm. is one thing that you got to get over is that you give it your best shot. Yeah. And then if you don't get it, that's okay. You you should be grateful for the opportunity that you had the possibility to get the listing and that you probably gained some experience and learned something from this. Even if you didn't get it, it's going to make you a better agent. Then you turn around mm. and go get five more listings. Because mm. it's Completely. unlimited. I think we spend a lot of time after losing a listing and thinking about how we lost that listing instead of just getting back to how we got that appointment in the first place and get more appointments. The thing is, the thing that's so interesting about losing a deal is the fact that when you lose that deal, you get future time back that you don't have to spend on that deal anymore. You know, I walk in the office and it looks like I'm just moseying on through the office, you know, not in a hurry, just kind of chilling. You know, Hi, what's going on? You know, and then you look at you look at my hot sheet and you see that I picked up four new listings and showed property all day and you know closed a million dollar deal. And you're like, what the hell is going on here? This dude's just moseying on through the office. You know, and he's closing 100 deals a year, but he acts like he's in slow motion. You know what I mean? It's because my mind is always cranking. Like right now, as we're doing this interview, I'm thinking of like 100 other things, you know what I'm saying, that I'm going to capitalize on as soon as this is over with. You know what I'm saying? So it's wow. crazy because I'm a single agent and I, I show every property, I show every buyer, I go to every listing appointment, every closing, every inspection and all that stuff. I do all these Zoom calls. I post all my social media content on, you know, LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, my podcast, all that stuff. I post every day, TikTok, everything. And, you know, people, they're like, how do you get all this stuff done? You know, it's because it, it, it it's like, the way that I am, it kind of looks like I'm in slow motion, but it's kind of like the turtle versus the hare. You know what I mean? How the turtle yeah. just like keeps on going. He's not going fast, but he just doesn't stop. You know what I mean? That's kind of how I am. Like I'm just constantly moving. It's like, as soon as I post on Instagram, I'm posting on YouTube and then I'm doing a Zoom call and then I'm calling a real estate client and then I'm going to look at a condo. Then, you know what I'm saying? Like it's back to back to back activities, super high productive activities. And it looks like I'm tired or it looks like I'm moseying just in slow motion. And I am, I am, I'm just chilling. There's this gray area where you can be super happy and extremely motivated because a lot of people, they're either really super productive and unhappy and burn out because they're always chasing a bigger goal. And as soon as they get close to that goal, they move it out further and they keep moving that goal further and further as they get closer and they never hit the goal. And so they stay in this, they're constantly in this state of being unhappy and burn out because they're just chasing, chasing, chasing. And then there's people who are very happy and super unproductive. They're just lazy. They're just really, they're just happy. They're just happy people. They're not doing anything with their life, you know? And so for me, what I realized, it was about five years ago, actually, that I realized that there's this gray area where you can be happy and super satisfied with where you are and what you get done on a day-to-day -day basis super happy with what you get done even though it's not everything you wanted you're still happy with it and then still extremely motivated to get your life to the next level and chase those bigger goals and so what so what i've found and i'm, I'm an extremely happy person because whatever i get done by the end of the day whether it was what i wanted to get done or whether i think that other people may have produced more than me that day or all the negative things that you can think about at the end of the day it doesn't matter to me because i know that i did all i could do